Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. We are playing another part of Hogwarts Legacy today, and we are on our way to meet Sebastian and the Undercroft. If you guys watched the last episode, you'll know that we went to the, um, I think it was called the Scriptorium, and learned Crucio. So we didn't use it, we learned it. Sebastian ended up cursing us. Um, but in the Scriptorium, we found a book and Sebastian thinks he may have found something to help his sister in the book. So that's where we're going right now to meet Sebastian to learn what he learned. Okay. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Mm -hmm. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I feel like the curses are illegal, essentially, uh, because they do bad things to people. I mean, you have laws, so why not outlaw the spells that can kill people and harm them an insane amount? I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I don't agree with him, um, Sebastian. <laughs> I think... You shouldn't keep secrets from your friends. Like, I I know Omnibus is probably going to get really upset either way. Um, but I'm not going to lie to him, so. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Okay. See, I knew he was going to pop out of somewhere like last time. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I don't think we know why his parents died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I don't think we would let Sebastian go out on his own, though, you know? Like, I feel like we'd do it to keep an eye on him, I think. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. 
I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Okay. So I think that's all for that quest. Okay, so I think what we're going to do next is this um, quest. <laughs> because we get to learn a new spell, Bombarda. And I've almost learned all of them, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, we have to acquire a few animals, it looks like. It seriously looks so pretty in the winter. All, every season so far looks gorgeous in this game. Oh my god, are these them? They are, they are, they are. Okay, let's get one of, oh no, no, no. Wait, 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 where are you going? This hey, looks intriguing. I'm gonna freeze them really quick. Places. Okay, now run over here and get it. There we go. Perfect, stun them so they can't move. Everything's all right now. But I was gonna say, what I wanna do is get one of each. What is this thing? Confringo! Accio! Okay, that was a bad guy. That was random. Places. Okay, perfect. So uh, it looks like we got a female and a male. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. That is what I wanted. Um, okay, and now we have to acquire a giant purple toad. So I think that's gonna be this way. We will go fly over this here. This place has seen better days. Oh my. Sorry, it's like very like swampy over here. That was not, I, okay. Did not expect that. Revelia. <laughs> what? Okay, uh... Glacius. They looked like statues. They didn't... <laughs> Assignment's all finished. They didn't look like what I thought they would look Revelia. like, you know? works really well while you're trying to catch something. <laughs> there, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Perfect. Alright, let's get back on our broom because we have to go to Beast's class, it looks like. Oh. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Okay. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. 
The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. So first things first, let's equip it. <laughs> um, yeah. Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Oh, the pumpkins now. All right, the pumpkins. Bombada. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. How? Assured and in control. Confringo. How is that any different from Confringo? That one uses fire to explode, and this one just explodes. Excellent. You have it well in hand. I guess this one just explodes without the fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh well. Let's see now. What can we do? Okay, so we have the main quest. Let's do it. Fire and Vice. So this looks, um, to me, I think is the one that they showed before the game released. Um, which, I mean, it looked awesome. So let's go do it. I think we should... Yeah, let's use High Wing. Well, I'm not sure if this one's High Wing, too. Time to go a little quicker. But... Away! I'm not sure if this one's name is High Wing too, but I equipped it him or her instead. <laughs> High Wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Okay, so um, if you guys... I don't know if you've seen this, but yeah, this was like the, what was released. Um, <laughs> As kind of like a teaser, uh, early access before the game actually came out. A centaur. Tread Ooh. carefully. I forgot about the centaurs. Yeah, we haven't seen them yet. But I was gonna An say we're doing it in winter, so Rome, that's different. <laughs> you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? that we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. I feel like that we just got a friend. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, 
and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Poachers are bad people, if you guys didn't know. Oh my god. That's the third time I've seen a dug bog behave that violently. Oh my god. Hmm. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Okay, so it's not letting us run any faster here. Oh, there we go. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Um, why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelts. Paul, still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize it would cut off her other thought. Okay, we got a top hat. Okay, I just drank out of a stranger's glass. Uh, I didn't think that would happen either. Good to know. I don't care about germs. Revelio. Oh, okay. There's one sign I missed. It's all the way up here. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here, all sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Okay. So, there might be several, so let's My just... Oh. Decisions of others. Yeah. Precious opportunities now. Pavelia. Opportunities that could have brought spoils to our hands, but now they fall into the wayside on account. Oh my god, there's tons of people. long as I thought it would for. There we go. Oh no, I broke the bridge. Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Oops, I kind of broke the Rebellion. bridge. Okay. Um, so let's equip Reparo because now I'm going to have to. Let's see. Reparo. My bad. Um, also, that is such a hint. I never noticed that, but that is such a hint for what is to come. Like, look at those bones. Okay. Revelio. 
Oh, there's just money everywhere. I do not mind if I do. I'm grabbing all of this money. I don't even care. Look, they put that money bag right next to another skull. Like, they want you to see those skulls. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntail Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Okay, um, that was an accident. I, I, my bad. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to regret it. Not quiet. Okay. I'm gonna stop trying to be sneaky because clearly it's not working. That's horrible. Rebellion. You can't keep your eyes off a pretty lass, you. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What's going on down there? He must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Rebellion. All right, what are we gonna? Well, I can't, I hate that it won't let you run. Like, I can't, I'm walking so slow. Alohomora. Okay, so now we have a dragon egg. I don't remember this part of it. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Yes. 
A more hushed approach is likely wise. All right, thank you for the tip. We'll try it one more time. Careful! Ramrod will want his dragon intact. I'm famished. Quiet as a grapple, you are. Velia. Quiet approach is not working for me today at all. You, you're the one we're looking for, and you brought a friend. You made a mistake. Stop right there. Like to torture dragons, do you? Nobody was there anymore. Okay. Vegetables in No, I'm getting a hit from somewhere. Do Akio? I'm so confused. Yeah, okay, you do. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Look at her. She's like scars everywhere. was a 
Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Oh yeah, full size dragon. <laughs> should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It would be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Great. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, will you? I shall see you back at the castle. All right, so we're hunted down even more now. Fun. But we did a good thing, so... We did a good thing. Faster! Time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. All right, you guys, so I think I'm actually going to leave this part here. I know it was a little bit shorter of an episode. We didn't do quite as much exploring as we normally do. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon in the next one. Bye. Baby, I got it. When you feel like falling